I'm very, very happy to be in Madison. I love the people here. I love the work the Lord has put in my hands. The people who know Bishop Robert Morlino the best often describe him using words like pastoral, humble, and courageous. Pope Francis talks about our Blessed Mother under the title of I'm Tire of Knots. What are the knots in your life? What are those discomfort sources? You should be going out to the peripheries to untie your knots. Bishop Morlino's journey to the priesthood began growing up in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Scranton is a very, uh, very Catholic town. Every guy growing up, we all thought about the priesthood. But the journey came to an abrupt halt when his father died. I was praying regularly and I said to myself, well, at this point, I should either hate God for taking my dad away from me. At this, I was 16 years old. Or I should trust him completely. If I hate him, that's going to sadden me. Uh, my dad sees from another life that I'm hating God, it'll probably sadden him because he knows so. That was what triggered me to say, I'm, I, I need to trust God completely. And in prayer for me to trust God completely meant to win the seminary. I had to give him everything. And he did. Entering a Jesuit seminary, being ordained as a Jesuit, teaching at the University of Notre Dame, then being incarnated into the Diocese of Kalamazoo, Michigan. Father Morlino had his eyes set on teaching Pope John Paul II had another idea, appointing him bishop way out west in Helena, Montana. I had studied in Rome over a period of time, and I knew that St. John Paul knew who I was. And I even said to the Apostolic Nuncio at the time, I said, I know that the Pope knows that I'm not a cowboy. I said, I, just, I can't imagine this. And uh, he said, well, the Holy Father has spoken and God will give you the grace. Sanctuary is where heaven and earth meet. Four years later, Bishop Morlina would be named Bishop of Madison. Still with a heart for teaching, he makes time and a busy schedule to do what he likes best. I just find teaching in that setting to be the thing that is most natural and most enjoyable to me even to this day. From personal encounters with the faithful to sharing his message on the airwaves of relevant radio, Bishop Morlino is focused on three things, liturgy, catechesis, and vocations. The biggest challenge continues to be the shortage of priests. We have to keep reminding ourselves of that. No priest, no Eucharist, no Eucharist, no church and the Lord has promised that the gates of hell will not prevail against the church, which means that he has promised adequate priests, which means that we have to do our part so that people sitting in the pews can say, well, my children, my grandchildren will have a priest. I'm thankful to God we have 33 seminarians right now, and that's due to the Lord and the Holy Spirit, not to me. I love my seminarians like sons, and I just have the highest hopes that we're going to grow in the kind of love and service that the Lord asks of us to give to the world. I'm sure we're going to do it. Jesus Christ is still risen from the dead, and that makes us winners.